The project that I got uh, to do now is, um, or one of the small ones, is to get a um, little DRO basically, um, and it's what I'm going to use is actually a, a dedicated Mitotoyo uh, for the tailstock um, because I do have an Analam DRO for the rest of the machine. Uh, works, uh, you know, really well there and there. But uh, it's I've always uh, wanted to have something on the tailstock uh, to you know, uh, to be able to measure, you know, how much you're, uh, you're boring in sometimes, especially when you're doing some delicate uh, jobs. So what I've got for that is uh, this fellow right here. Um, it's a Mitu Toyo uh, digital scale. I guess one-handed. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. All right. Okay, there we go. So, um, here she is. We'll use that part, and we're going to use this part right here. So, yeah, so there we go. So, the idea will be to install this puppy right up here. Uh, use the adapter that will connect to uh, the front here somehow. Okay, like that, like so. And then uh, uh, an aluminum block uh, with, a, uh, with a split that I'll tighten up around the quill and attach that to that. And I think I'm just going to use some uh, 3M uh, VHB tape to uh, attach that to the uh, tailstock because... <laughs> okay, so that worked out pretty well. This is the um, this is the cutter that uh, I used. It's um, carbide tipped. Uh, they're from China. Uh, it's a 32 millimeter. I need to go uh, 37 and three quarters millimeter on the bore. Um, I do have a 35, but I wasn't too sure if it was going to go oversized. It looks like it's not too too bad. Finish is not great, as you can see, but we're going to finish this off with the boring head. So, um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's start the starting hole, so I don't have to take out that much material. All right, next we're going to load up this uh, news uh, slash USA boring head. This is a big one. I think this is a, a three inch. Um, I have two other ones, the smaller ones, but this is right at the cusp of almost an inch and a half. So um, instead of pushing the small... Uh, the small ones over a lot. I'm just going to use uh, this. Uh, okay, I got the uh, boring head set up. A little bit of coolant going on. Okay, so I upped the RPM there just uh, to see if I can get a better finish towards the end. And it certainly does look it. Well, that's a tad bit big. Quite a bit bigger than, uh, it's quite loose. Quite a bit bigger than I would have hoped to have. Um, it might not matter because I'm going to I'm going to slip this anyway. It's going to clamp. Uh, it's not going to be 100% perfect, but clearly I didn't measure either because I'm using the calipers and I'm uh, you know off uh, quite a bit. But um, anyway, it is what it is. I'll uh, do better next time. Um, the idea is that that's going to fit right there. It's not too too bad. A little wiggly. I'm not going to cry about it. Um, and 
what I'll do is, in order to clamp this, I'm going to split it here just at the bandsaw. So I'll have a split. And then uh, through here I'm going to counter, bowl a, uh, counter bore uh, a bolt and um, thread it on this side. Uh, so that whole this side will be threaded, this side will not. Um, I'll measure out that and uh, I'll go and make that. And also what I'm going to do to clean up these corners right here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trace the outside of the profile of the tailstock and I just take it to the belt sander and I'm just going to belt sand out the, um, the top uh, profile here so it matches. So I, just so I don't have a, a sharp corner um, right here, it would be nicer if it was uh, a closer match. So um, I'll go and do that uh, right now. And I made sure I have clearance to go through the, uh, through the vise <laughs> without hitting anything, I, I hope. Okay, that's about to break through. There we go. Here we go, zero. So I should be there, just past uh, the halfway mark. And now I'm going to bore the last part uh, bigger for the head. Oh crap. Looks good. good. Yeah, that's that's perfect. That's very nice. That's very nice. So that air should go through like that. And I'm going to tap the other side here. Um, yeah, it looks like that's going to work. And then I'll just bandsaw it. Okay. Bottoms out nicely. Bottoms out nicely, and as I tighten on this, it will pull in this section once it's cut. So, next over to the bandsaw. All right, we're at the bandsaw here now. Uh, let's this up. Okay, that's good. I'll go and uh, tap and uh, drill and tap that and be right back. Now, one thing, I got a new little tool here. This is a Noga a deburring tool. It's a tiny little thing. I don't know if you can tell. Just a tiny, tiny little thing. And this is going to, this is supposed to help deburr the inside of uh, round holes or blind holes. So the idea is, I guess, is to get in there. This is the first time I'm using this thing. You know, I bought them for a good reason. Get it in there. And then just rotate. Yeah, it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it is. It is working. That takes the burrs off of uh, off of the uh, the threading, um, the topping. I mean. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely doing it. I don't know if you can see that in there. And then you pull it out, and that's it. It's. Um, see how close I can get you in on this. 
that's uh, that's it right there. Yeah, that's pretty smooth. That feels just right. So what do we have? Maybe 3.23 millimeters. Alright, I'm back. What a little nightmare that was. So, I had to cut a piece of plastic um, out of a chunk of um, bigger plastic that I had. I did that on the chop saw, as you saw. It took four or five attempts to get it just right. Um, hard to measure, you know, even when I marked it uh, with a scribe line. Hard to get it perfect. But anyway, um, the other thing I had to do here, I missed a step, is the tape doesn't go on the, uh, on the caliper. It goes on, or on the deer, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I needed to uh, screw a couple of holes in here, or drill a couple of holes and countersink with uh, three millimeter uh, flathead screws that screwed into the body. That became the spacer and to this I'm going to apply the uh, VHB tape. That's going to go on like that. Now I peel this off. I'm hoping it will stick and if it doesn't, not a big deal. I got lots of it now. There we go. Push that down. Oh, it feels like it's on really good. That feels really solid guys, like really solid. I think it took I think it took. Yeah, in and out, okay. Let's uh, turn this on. Uh, zero it. Oh, come on, zero, buddy. Uh, imagine if this thing doesn't work. Oh, there we go, zero. Uh, there we go, it's running. Can you see it? I'm wondering whether or not. No, you can't. I'm just gonna pull the camera off here. Right back. So I got you at the top here. I'm just going to do a handheld. So yeah, the uh, readout is on, and um, there you go. It's uh, God, hey. yeah, we're um, two thou off there. So not bad. I think that's a success. All right. Hopefully that wasn't too painful for you guys. See you next time.